Hello YouTube and thank you for joining me for another video. In today's video I'm going to address a question that was asked by one of my subscribers. They wanted to know how the car looked at the very beginning and what the car looks like today. So I'm just going to do a quick overview, very quick overview of what I did in the engine bay and the exterior and the interior and show you what the car is like today and show you that it's running. I will be uploading videos that document all the things that I did to get this car running. Uh, for example, my throttle body was really bad when I first got the car. It had to come out, it got cleaned very thoroughly, uh, adjusted. Without that service, the car would have never started because the micro switches, there are two micro switches on there, and both of them were out of alignment, so those had to be fixed. Now to be successful with a project like this, especially with a classic car, you need to have the right tools, and this was very helpful for me. This 90 degree swivel adapter allowed me to get into some really tight spaces, so you definitely should have one or two of these handy. So once I cleaned up and replaced the air intake plenum, I made sure that the electrical connector back here was nice and secure. I also purchased and replaced the rubber seal that sits just inside the throttle body. The original one was flat, therefore it wasn't providing a proper seal. Okay, once I've gotten all the components back in the car and made sure that everything was uh, nicely secured and tightened, what you're about to hear next is the car being started up for the very first time in 17 years. While working on the engine, which I did just on weekends, I also uh, worked a little bit on the interior. So this is the original interior when I got the car and um, it was in bad shape. One of my subscribers even said, this is a rough one and <laughs> wished me a lot of luck. So it took me some time, but I went through and uh, I did the interior myself and I also did work on the exterior. And since this was a budget build, I did all the work myself, including the carpeting, the seats, all the door panels, the exterior. I simply sanded down some of this uh, peeling paint and I wrapped the car. And once I wrapped it, it came out really nicely. My neighbors thought I was crazy, but I got it done. And once they started seeing the finished product, they were amazed, they were blown away. Of course, I wrapped it in different sections, which came out really nicely. And the interior was not meant to be stock either. I loved this bright orange, so I went with the orange and brown combination with the beige carpet. And even the rims came out nicely after several hours of uh, shining them up. There were nice chrome rims, and they really added a nice touch to the car. So this is where I am currently with the car. I will be posting videos that I've done on the engine. I've taken the engine out and serviced it. I've taken out the transmission and serviced it. And I've also rebuilt uh, a few wiring harnesses and also the 14 pin connector. So I'll be posting all these videos. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. 